Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. And today on one released Photo Raw 2020, brand new package. It's really snappy. It's got a lot of great new features. Got a bunch of more information over on my blog. And if you're interested in picking it up, check the links below. There is a discount code for you. You can save 20% if you are a new customer. And also I got some pointers to a bunch of other on one videos that you might find interesting to help you get up to speed. But what I want to show you today is uh, really unpacking one of the new filters in Photo Raw 2020, the Sun Flare filter. And I'll just show you kind of a result of what uh, one of these filters looks like. You can see this scene here and I'll turn off this Sun Flare filter and turn it back on. And it just added a little bit of a hint of some sunlight. Soft, not overbearing, and uh, the, the new filters are a really, really nice accent to existing photos. I want to unpack this filter for you, show you how it works, and there's a couple of nuances in the different sliders and how they interact with your photo I want you to be aware of. So let's just turn off this filter, and we'll add a new sun flare filter, and kind of do this from the ground up. Now the first thing you have is you have a choice of filters. You have bokeh, sun flare, or sun star. And you know, as you'd expect, you know, bokeh adds, well, bokeh. Sun flare is much more like you're pointing into the sun. You're getting a, a very strong reaction from a uh, direct sunlight. And then sun star is more like our beams, right? You get like a, you know, the, the multi-pointed star. And in the area here, this first section of the filter, you can select different types. Now for this, uh, for this thing, I want to choose a sun star. But there are just a whole variety of them. And I'm actually going to choose the first one for this scene right up there. Sun star number one. You have control over the amount. So I can take it all the way down to zero. And bring it all the way back up to 100%. Somewhere in between. That's all up to you. But I tend to like to use a little bit of a smaller amount. Or at least not 100% all the time back off that so it kind of um, it's an accent to to an existing photo now the rest of these sliders here this section here from tone and color through transform those affect the sun star or the sun flare itself so you can modify where the flare is positioned how strong it is what its hue is all that type of stuff let's take a look at what i mean let me push this back up to 100 percent so we can see there is our flare and I can change the brightness of the flare so I can make it hotter, you know, hotter or colder. And as we pump it up really far, you can see there's those extra like little spectral circles we get, you know, or you can dim it down very, very far. Adjust the saturation of that flare. And let's push the brightness up so you can really see the effect of that, right? So I'm saturating the flare and that's having an interaction with my scene itself. And then there's the hue shift. So we can change the tone of the flare. Now for a scene like this, you know, uh, a nominal hue, a standard hue looks fine. But if you have some other type of stylistic effect you're wanting to add, or maybe uh, you're shooting a concert or a scene where there's you know, purple lights and blue lights and things like that, you can really accent them and change this tone to match your scene. I'm going to reset all of those. Well, actually, let me keep the brightness up a little bit for this next part. Next part is transform. Again, operating on the flare itself. I can make it larger. You can see that those streaks are getting bigger and the center of that flare is getting larger with the scale. We can also adjust where the flare is uh, overall. We can rotate the flare and we'll see changes in its like little beams coming out of there. We can flip it up and down. We can flip it horizontally. And fit to canvas is generally a good one to choose because what that will do is just scale the flare to your scene. You can think of the flare as being an overlay or like a, any, any type of image you might overlay on your photo. So fit to canvas just makes everything snap right to where it needs to be. Now this final section of sliders, sunshine, these sliders affect your image itself, not the sun flare. And I want to prove the point to you here by taking the amount of this down to zero. Matter of fact, let me reset the entire, the entire uh, filter here. I'll choose Sun Star. I'll choose Sun Star 01, and I'm taking the amount down to zero. Now, Sunshine is completely nominal. Nothing has changed. As I start increasing the amount, notice my photo is changing. Right, all of the 
you know, in this case, I'm adding uh, the illusion of more sunshine, so things are getting a little amplified. I can change warmth or coolness, saturation, but all this is affecting the photo itself. You know, fade to add in kind of a little bit of haze. But the sunshine sliders affect the photo itself. When I bring the flare back up, notice that, for example, saturation. You'll see the background gets saturated, and the flare will be impacted somewhat, but these are really affecting the overall photo, the things that are underneath or behind your flare. So with all of that stuff in mind, the rest of this, it works just like any other filter. Um, oh, actually, I forgot to mention one other really cool thing in the transform area. This is very important, the crosshairs. This lets us decide where we want the flare. So we can drag it all around as long as that cross, cross, crosshairs is set. And in this case, I'll stick this like kind of up in this little, little patch where there's a break in the trees. It seems to make sense to me. And so let's, um, let's do a little work on this. We'll rotate that flare a little bit, take the amount back some. Around there looks nice. Add a little more sunshine into the background so that uh, overlay of the sun flares Getting a little bit of a, like a, a desaturation happening, so we can raise that back up and have a little more saturation itself. And for this scene, it is a filter. We have masks, so I may mask away some of this effect from just the building itself. And I've turned on the perfect brush so I can make sure not to affect the outside scene. Uh, I can keep my brush strokes just on that part of the building there, so I don't wash out the, the building too much. So all that put together before that sun flare and after. So that's the sun flare filter. Key thing is you can position that sun flare wherever you want. That crosshairs tool is really, really great. The sunshine sliders affect your photo and any treatments you've given to it, not just the flare itself and then choose whichever flare that you like. And I suggest using this filter as an accent to photos where a, uh, a, a peak of a sun star or an addition to flare is uh, augmenting something that might be there naturally. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you check out Photo Raw 2020. Again, see the links below. And if you've got questions about Photo Raw photography, drop them in the comments. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.